for the Truman State women who punched their ticket to Evansville yesterday when they beat William Jewell. The ladies will be looking to advance past the second round of the GLVC tournament, something they were unable to do last season after winning at home in the first round. the opportunity now to go to Evansville and uh, we have three more games there that hopefully we can get and uh, you know we don't know who we play yet but uh, we've seen them before so we'll be ready and, and uh, our kids will be ready to play. The Truman ladies will face Lewis Thursday night at 6 p.m. The Flyers won the only meeting this season 98 to 72. The Truman State men weren't as fortunate in their opening round matchup on Sunday as the number five seeded Bulldogs were upset by 9 and 17 Illinois Springfield. Although the season ended with a dud, Truman won 20 games this season after only winning 18 games the past two seasons combined. I have enough perspective to, to keep um, this and, you know, what we did this year. Uh, you know, it, it's tough right now to talk about it, but, you know, 20 wins and 13 conference wins, and there's a lot of things that we did very well this year that I'll be proud of. And over a period of time, it, it'll set in and, and uh, you know, it was a successful season. As one local season came to an end, Kirksville gets set to host their district tournament. The Kirksville girls were scheduled to open district play tonight against Moberly. That game was postponed and moved to tomorrow afternoon at 4.30. The Lady Tigers will be looking to advance by beating their rival for the third time this season. The tough part is going to be playing Moberly three times. You know, we beat them twice. It's hard to beat a team three times in one season. So I think, you know, they're playing better. They're playing stronger with more confidence now. They've had some close games, knocked a couple people off. So, you know, it's going to be a tough game for us. You know, I think uh, personnel-wise, we're, we're pretty even. They've got some height, you know, so they match up with Sarah Lamp pretty well. Um, they've got some shooters on the outside. I know uh, Brittany Croner's having a great season here at the end, so we're definitely going to have to crash down on her. The Kirksville boys ended up being the number four seed in the district tournament, although the Young Tigers beat four of the other five teams in their district. Their tournament makeup game will be tomorrow night as well at 9 p.m. when they take on Marshall. If they can beat the Owls for the third time this season, they will face top-seeded Helias. Just like everybody else in our conference, they're young. Uh, they like to play pretty fast. They, they, the second time we played them, they switched to uh, to a one three one, uh, gave us a little bit of a different look, um, and, and we handled it pretty well. Uh, just make sure we got we we got to make sure that we stay patient against it. And don't try to force too much. Um, but if we do have opportunities as far as fast breaking stuff, we want to get the ball out and and try and beat them back before they can set up. 